Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to today's video. Happy Friday. So excited to get the weekend started. Hopefully you are doing something fun for the weekend. Today is going to be a super fun, really quick video on just what sticker books from Happy Planner I feel are the most universal kind of bang for your buck that you can use in any planner, anywhere, all the way around. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, welcome everyone. If you are new here, I hope you will consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the fun. And for those returning, thank you so much for joining us again today. All right, let's get started. While there's tons of stickers out there, certainly Happy Planner is not, I'm gonna take my watch off because it's bugging me. Certainly Happy Planner is not the only sticker company that makes some bomb stickers, but I personally feel like most of their stickers are the best. I've tried a lot of different stickers and they're among my favorite stickers, just with how many they produce and the universal, universalness, well, however you say that, of the sticker books. But I know for many, there are a lot of choices and it can be really expensive to kind of collect all of these sticker books. So here's a few that I feel like you will absolutely be able to use um, no matter what, and you can use them in any planner. And they're really great for travel if you have to pick some sticker books while you're traveling, along with super, um, super easy options if you are on a budget and you can really only pick up one to two sticker books. So the first one I'm gonna start with is the Colorful Box Stickers. Now, there are three different types of Colorful Boxes that have been released. I think this is the first, second, and third. Um, I, there might even be a fourth out there that I just don't know about. I'm not sure if you can still get this one, but truthfully, the first was my favorite, is my favorite. Um, I've used quite a few of the stickers in here and you can't really quite tell because, you know, it's their boxes. But what I feel like I love the most about the colorful box sticker books is that you can color up a spread so easily, but they're the most functional, functional, functional stickers ever. So a little color goes a long way and the shapes that they have in here are really great because there's really no reason why you can't find a, a color or shape that fits whatever you're planning. And again, any planner, any size, any shape, these will work in, making it to me one of the truly the best options if you are limited in your choice of colors. I mean, your choice of uh, stickers, <laughs> there we go. Um, you can't go wrong with colorful boxes. I also feel like if you had to pick your very first sticker book and or maybe two, this would be one of the ones I'd recommend for your like upfront. It doesn't have a lot of that decorative stuff, but it will decorate any spread up just with the colorful boxes. So among my favorites. Now, while there are other colorful boxes, um, books that they have done, I didn't like these quite as much as I have used some of them as well, but I didn't like these quite as much as the first one I showed you just because these felt a little bit more, um, or a little bit less, I should say, functional. And size, they had weird sizes in here comparably. They, I mean, they still had a lot of great sizes, but they weren't quite the same. So if you come into contact with both, I feel like this one is the better option. And then the latest one that I have is this one right here. Now this one is also super fun and it does come with a few more of like uh, decorative quote stickers and actually comes with a few more just decorative stickers in general. So if you are looking for, you know, a good mix of both the boxes and a few color decorative ones, this one is really great. What I don't love about this one, or I guess it's not that I don't love it, it's just, it, it's more style specific per spread, but it's got a lot of that like brush mark look to it. And if you're really not in the mood for it, those are not like ink being wrong. That's the way the sticker was made. But if that's not the mood you're in for spreads, it's a little bit harder to customize it to make your spread what you want. However, 
there's a lot to offer in these sticker books. So any one of these three is going to be super great for people who are looking to have a colorful spread without overpowering your planner. Next on the list, um, and again, I'm not going over all the ones that they have in these categories. There's a, probably lots that I've missed in that category. They're colorful boxes. There might be small books of them, um, and I think there might be a fourth one, but these are just the ones that I feel like are the most universal. So if you find a new colorful boxes, that also works too. Again, I just think the general colorful boxes is great. So as we move on to more sticker books that are super great for travel, on a budget, whatever you need, I think that the Journaling Doodles sticker book is truly one of my favorites. And I will say this, I don't know why my autofocus, hello, are you like having trouble? I feel like it's not, there we go, can you grab it? Okay, I feel like these sticker books stickers are some of the nicest stickers. I have never colored mine up, but I know that that has been my intention a lot, but I've never done it. And, um, however, the, imagine the possibilities of your spread. So to do a, a complete spread based on this sticker book and then to color it up, how fun is that? Plus, what I love about this is that you, you know, most people have colored pencils or markers or pens or anything like that. So, you know, you can use however you need to um, and color them the way you want them. And you probably already have that at home. So you don't need to pick that up in addition to. The reason why I love these is because it is literally a blank slate for your choosing, but the outline is there. So you can kind of go through, there's some gold foil ones, there's some black ones, they have some silver foil in there mixed, and you can go through and create the spread that you want and then just kind of doodle in the things that you want to doodle in and you have availability to do so without any problems. And so I feel like this is another great value and opportunity for you to go through and choose the stickers that you love that best feeds your soul and yeah, and there's lots of coffee cups, so it's a win-win for me. So love, love, love this sticker book. You can still find these also places. I think this one I got at Michael's. Normally, Michael's will not stamp theirs with the little, like, individual uh, price tags. But um, you can still found, find these out there. I believe this one, I just saw it at Hobby Lobby, actually, the other day. So... Sometimes if you go to one store and not the other, you may not see all the sticker books because at the time that a lot of these options were released, um, back in the day when they were released, I believe certain places picked up certain items and not others. So not every store had everything. So even if you go to one store and you're like, oh, they don't have it anymore, it doesn't mean it was ever released there to begin with. So don't be discouraged. All right. The next batch of stickers that I feel like anyone should pick up, you should always have one in your supply, is the seasonal sticker books. So obviously, um, you know, maybe you're not a huge fan of certain seasons, and maybe you are, but the seasonal sticker books give you so much of color, and they give you so many functional stickers and decorative stickers in one sticker book. As you can see, this was pretty sticker Christmas sticker books. <laughs> As you can see, based on the usage of this sticker book, you can tell which uh, season or holiday Megan likes the most. Christmas, if you couldn't figure that out already. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. But um, yeah, you get a little bit of everything. Ooh. You get, I'm bumping the light here. You get um, decorative stickers, and obviously I've used this heavily, so a lot are missing. You have theme stickers for fall, and um, which I used all the fall ones, but you have these <laughs> theme stickers for fall as well as Halloween. You get a lot of these functional stickers that are super functional. Um, a lot of decorative stickers down here, and kind of just a little bit of everything. So you literally cannot go wrong if you're trying to pick just a few of those sticker books to, you know, keep 
keep in your arsenal or take with you, this is always a great one. Um, there's a couple, what I have one more in the mix, but these two happen to be my favorite of the seasonal ones. They also have like a squad goal seasonal one, um, a lot of different things like that, but both of the, both of these ones have those same functional, super fun, and then decorative stickers as well. So a lot of color, it's a great way to get started, and it doesn't matter when you're starting your planning, it could be December when you start, or it could be November, or it could be March. It just doesn't really matter. You have stickers of every occasion and every theme and every color, and you can certainly customize a spread for what season you're in at that time. So super, super functional, super great sticker books. And then <clears throat> lastly, but certainly not least, there are the big jumbo pack 100 sheet sticker books. So I think these are 30 sheets always. Yeah, 30 sheets. So 30 sheet sticker books are the normal size. And then you can sometimes find these jumbo packs. Obviously you can tell this one was a Joanne exclusive. This one I got at Michael's. This one was part of a, a seasonal promotional thing, I think two years ago now. So it's probably not available any longer, but I'm sure they have one just like it. And then this one was pretty recent. Um, out of the two, this one tends to be my favorite. I feel like it was a little bit more diverse in the stickers that it had in there, but I will say they're very similar in nature. So this one happened to be bright, obviously, just like it said, and this one um, was more just all general stickers that Happy Planner has ever done in one. I've used it so much it fell apart, but in one go. So, you know, you had animals, which was the first time we ever saw pet unicorns, mermaids. Um, I've used a lot of these stickers. There's still a lot left. And you had like literally a little bit of everything in them. So as you're looking through this and you're like, why don't you show us stickers she's used? I want to show you the ones that have spoken to me so much that I have used lovely. Um, obviously these cost a lot more. I think this one was $50. And then with a coupon, I think I paid like $30. If I'm remembering correctly, it's been a while. Um, it was really, really hard to find. I had to drive, this is how crazy about stickers I am, guys. I had to drive like two hours from my house to find this particular sticker book. And I got two of them. I was able to help someone get one that didn't get one, um, and give them the same pricing I got and sell them back to them just to kind of give them an ability to get their hands on one. It was another YouTuber and gosh, they were really, really hard to come by. I don't think there's as much of that same fight that there was uh, back then for this sticker book as there is for the new ones. I think you can pretty much easily get them accessible anywhere. But if you want the most value for any of your money, um, this is going to be it. You had colorful boxes, you have seasonal stickers, you have functional stickers, and you literally, if you just bought one single sticker book and that's all you could buy, I would highly recommend one of these kits. Um, this one does tend to be categorized more towards the colorful section. They had a pastel one, but they're coming out with more of these big box, like big folder ones of them that have a little bit of everything and you, you cannot go wrong at all. You will not regret getting one, picking up your hands on one. And then you, you are, as I mentioned, just, you know, accessible to get any stickers that you want in there. Another thing I like about them is actually their closing mechanism and how they open. I like that book format a little bit better than the flip up format. It seems easier to plan like this or even to flip through like this. Um, obviously you are still flipping up when you're looking through them, but the opening of it feels way more functional to me and then kind of closing it all in one. It also works out a little bit easier if you have loose pages, which as you can tell, this one does, this one does not yet. Um, but the loose pages are bothersome. So either any of these stickers, you know, I have obviously favorite sticker books that aren't even necessarily all of these stickers, but I just feel like for the functionality of them 
any of these sticker books, you can't go wrong. And it doesn't matter if you're an Erin Condren girl. It doesn't matter if you're a plum paper girl. It doesn't matter if you're bullet journal girl or happy planner girl or any of the other hundreds of planner brands that are out there that I don't even know about. Um, they, these will all work for you and make your planning journey that much more fun and exciting and colorful. And that's truly what I love to see in my planner journey is color and things that bring me joy and make me want to use my planner more. So it's a great way to get started. If Again, if you had to pick any of them, if the cost is too high for these, I do recommend the colorful boxes. If you can afford a little bit more and maybe you're like us, you know, the, a lot of us and want 100,000 stickers, then definitely pick one of these up. You will not ever look back and be like, oh, I wish I didn't do it. You'll always be happy with it. Um, yeah, either way you go, you can't go wrong. But definitely love to hear your feedback. Tell me in the comments if you have a sticker book that you cannot live without and you absolutely love. I'd love to hear from you and what your sticker book that you feel like is the most functional favorite that you have. So happy Friday, everyone, and I will see you on next week's video. Have a good one. Thank you.